actually, good morning. It, uh, most economic advisors, including his top economic advisor, are saying it's not good for the American consumer, that it's essentially a tax, that the importers will have to pay this tariff, and then they'll raise prices on consumer goods, and that it will affect farmers in Kentucky, and it will affect um, you know, the auto industry in Tennessee. In fact, some Republicans, like Rand Paul from Kentucky, were saying he's worried it will ha affect the farming industry in Kentucky. Uh, there's, you know, Democrats are saying it, it is just essentially a tax. Um, and of course, Lindsey Graham, as, as he is, is sticking by the president, saying this will be tough on China and maybe force them into some kind of negotiations or, or have people uh, move away from doing trade with China. But essentially, most economic advisors, including a former Treasury Secretary under George W. Bush, spoke on the Sunday talk shows saying this is not a good thing for the American consumer. So is there any resolution between China and the U.S. in sight, Courtney? Well, you do have two imposing stubborn figures, uh, President Trump, who's tweeting away, saying they are not going to back down and that China did. And then you have a uh, Chinese leadership, which is also going to be very strong. And the question is, is this going to be a standoff or a face off? Uh, they will be meeting uh, potentially at the G20 summit in Japan a month away. But with you know, Trump does this. This is the way he once he digs in, like he did with Mexico, saying Mexico pay for the wall, even though they're not. He, he changes the narrative through his tweets regardless of what his advisors say or what former economic analysts say. So you can tell that the president has really dug in on this. He's sending his narrative out to the American people, insisting it's a good thing. And um, he's not really creating any alliances or any dialogue at this point.